Scottish warrior is ready for battle. Brandishing the King's Blade. This is a man who fought his way all the way to the top of WWE. The following champion versus champion contest is a last match. Roman Reigns, the leader of the bloodline, has arrived. And his opponent, representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Here's a man who's held the Universal Championship for over two years. Greatness redefined. That's God mode. Part of the pantheon of all time greats in the double. These last man standing matches are different beasts altogether, aren't they, Corey? They're savage beasts, Michael. No pinfalls, no countouts, no submissions, no disqualification. Only way to win is to incapacitate your opponent to the count of 10. So, yeah, you're talking about one of the most brutal matches in all of WWE. I'd say it's more barbaric than brutal. Well, oh, Byron, if it's too much for you, I'm sure they got you a cold washcloth backstage. As for me, I love the action. Easy, guys. We're all friends here. I mean, at least we're co-workers. Flashing oh, down with a vertical suplex. The battle prize of a Scottish warrior. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Intensity of Drew McIntyre is boiling to the surface right now. He climbs into the ring. <laughs> Bang! The Scottish warrior thinking big. Oh, my God! My goodness, that did not go in plan. Might have been a bad plan to begin with. A kendo stick wrapped around the head. Most people wouldn't think it, but a last man standing match is one of the more cerebral matches there is. It's not just brute strength only. You need to be aware of your environment and all the tools at your disposal. I agree, Corey. It's the smarter superstar who's going to get the upper hand in this one. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. showing that they have each other's number. Solid punch. Matt Breaker excellently executed. And what's he looking for here? He grabbed the chair. Oh, that would be a good time to run. Oh. Reigns is getting dismantled here. McIntyre is just refusing to let Reigns have his way here. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. And well-timed maneuver there. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. This is just getting uncomfortable at this point. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. He's got a candlestick. A weapon we've seen used to great effect time and time again. McIntyre's just so dominant. Next level brutality coming from McIntyre. <laughs> Boom on a punch. We will go on. Boom! He's in a little bit of trouble now. 
And taking this kind of damage is unsustainable. Getting up from the count of 10 is going to be impossible at this rate. And stopping the referee's count? That was silly. Either that or it was deliberate. Perhaps looking to make a statement. Ugh, gets put into the barricade. All the way up. And the cross landing powerbomb. Taking this one back to the ring now. This could be big. Going up high. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Good lord. Taking flight. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you got ringside. He's heading back to the ring. He's going for it all. McIntyre basically telling him that this is what dominance really looks like. Here we go. down with high impact. Two, three. Ooh. He's spared from the big dog. McIntyre's in dire straits. And this match will head back Two, to the ring. Three. Roman Reigns giving the people in attendance the chance to acknowledge him. This match isn't over yet. Guess he caught another win. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Well, oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Here on the announce desk. What a mess. Close line. Watch out. They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? Reigns turns that around. Reigns and McIntyre have dropped bombs on each other and somehow are both still alive in this one. Both exhausted, both in pain. Oh no! Crashing hard onto the floor! You have daring and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. Airway crash neckbreaker. to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Just a debilitating neck breaker. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. He shoves him onto the announce table, looking to end this in spectacular fashion. No, 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 no. is what you call a game changer, gentlemen. I can't believe I'm, I am at a loss for words right now, truly. He steps foot in the ring again. And now Drew McIntyre heads up. And there's seven. It's getting close. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior. What a major victory for Drew McIntyre here tonight, overcoming one of the toughest and most dominant competitors in WWE, Roman Reigns. There can be no question now that McIntyre is at the top of his game. There were times in this match where I didn't think Drew could do it, but he managed to win this epic power struggle. Not only has he proven he's better than the Tribal Chief, he's also shown that ruthless tactics and a bad attitude are no match for good old-fashioned hard work. I'm sure Roman doesn't appreciate that point getting proven at his expense, but for the moment, Drew can stand alone on that proverbial mountaintop, and he should enjoy it while it lasts. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Flying! You gotta be kidding me! Stop 
exploding and put your attention back to the match. 